energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. My Life Today, a devotional by Ellen White, January 6th, Have Faith in God. Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith, even our faith. Who is he that overcomes, overcometh the world? Who is he that overcomes, overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son, the Son of God, the Son of God. Have faith in God. Trust ye in the Lord forever. For in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Isaiah chapter 26 verse 4. His is the greatness, the power, the glory, the victory, and the majesty. Let us not limit the Holy One of Israel. What a source to which we can look in at all times of trouble. The heart can have no misgivings. Man is erring, stubborn, rebellious, and defiant even against God. But the Lord is kind and patient and of tender compassion. He has heaven and earth at his command, and he knows just what we need even before we present our necessities and desires before him. We can see only a little way before us, But all things are naked and opened unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. He never becomes confused. He sits above the confusion and distractions of the earth. And all things are opened to his divine survey. And from his great and calm eternity, he can order that which his providence sees is best. If we were left to ourselves to plan We should make mistakes. Our prejudices, our weaknesses, our self-deceptions, and our ignorances would be manifest in many ways. But the work is the Lord's. The cause is his. He never leaves his workmen without divine directions. Whatever burdens lay heavily, cast them on the Lord. He that keepeth Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. Repose in God. He is kept in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on God. At times, it will seem that you cannot take another step. Well, wait and know that I am God. Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. We need to cherish faith. You must learn the simple art of taking God at his word. Then you will have solid ground beneath your feet. My life today, January 6th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.